Hello, my name is Mia Wood. I'm a professor of philosophy at Pierce College in Woodland Hills, California. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Symbolic Logic and Argumentation. The videos here grew out of an interest in supporting classwork, both face-to-face -face and online. Classwork specifically involving the study of deductive logic, the course is typically called logic or symbolic logic or formal logic, and also critical thinking. At my college, it's called logic and practice. The symbolic logic course focuses on the nature of deductive arguments, more specifically, the ways in which we can examine the logical structure of our language in order to develop and analyze arguments and develop strategies for achieving or demonstrating, more specifically, the conclusion of an argument that is logically or structurally correct. In a critical thinking course, the scope of the work is much more broad. In other words, the scope of the work involves argumentation in general. We work in the deductive mode of argumentation, and we also work in the inductive mode of argumentation. The way that I like to make the distinction in a less technical uh, fashion is as follows. We work on non-experiential reasoning, that is, reasoning that does not require sense experience in order to proceed, versus the reasoning that does require experience to proceed. Okay, so the videos here are going to involve uh, uh, lectures and tutorials, uh, some explainers covering material in a deductive uh, or symbolic logic course and material in a critical thinking course. So remember, one is the sort of the deep dive into one mode of argumentation, the other is more of a broad survey course. Now, typically, what I use when I'm conducting a formal logic course is Barwise, Etchemendi, and Barker Plummer's Language Proof and Logic. When I conduct a critical thinking course, I use either uh, Baronet's Logic, as of this video, the third edition is the most recent, but I also use a text that I have put together uh, for specific courses. But regardless of which textbook you use, it should be the case that you find here videos that are helpful to you. And of course, if you have any questions, problems, or confusions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thanks.